Stress is a natural reaction to specific demands and events, but ongoing stress can affect a person's health and well-being. Tips for managing stress include exercise, setting priorities, counseling, and more. These demands can come from work, relationship, financial pressure, and other situations, but anything that poses a real or perceived challenge or threat to a person's well-being can cause stress. Stress can be a motivator and it can even be essential to survival. The body's fight or flight mechanism tell a person when and how to respond to danger. However, when the body becomes triggered too easily or there are too many stressors at one time, it can undermine a person's mental and physical health and become harmful. Stress is the body's natural defense against predators and danger. It causes the body to flood with hormones that prepare its system to evade or confront danger. People commonly refer to this as the fight or flight mechanism. When humans face a challenge or threat, they have a partially physical response. The body activates resources that help people either stay and confront the challenge or get to safety as fast as possible. The body produces larger quantities of the chemicals, cortisol, epinephrine and norepinephrine. These triggers the following physical reactions. Increased blood pressure, heightened muscular preparedness, sweating, alertness. These factors all improve a person's ability to respond to a potentially hazardous or challenging situation. Norepinephrine and epinephrine also cause a faster heart rate. Environmental factors that trigger this reaction are called stressors. Examples include noises, aggressive behavior, a speedy car, scary moments in movies, or even going out on a first date. Feelings of stress tend to increase in tandem with the number of stressors. According to the American Psychological Association Annual Stress Survey in 2018, average stress level in the United States were 4.9 on a scale from 1 to 10. The survey found that the most common stressors were employment and money. Stress slows down some normal bodily functions such as those that the digestive and immune system perform. The body can then concentrate its resources on breathing, blood flow, alertness and the preparation of the muscle for sudden use. The body changes in the following ways during a stress reaction. Blood pressure and pulse rise, breathing speeds up, digestive system slows down, Immune activity decreases, muscle become more tense, sleeping decreases due to the heightened state of alertness. Being more alert to the effects of stress may help a person manage it more effectively and cope better. The National Institute of Mental Health recognized two types of stress, acute and chronic. These require different level of management. The National Institute of Mental Health also identified three examples of types of stressors. Routine stressors such as childcare, homework or financial responsibilities. Sudden disruptive changes such as a family bereavement or finding out about a job loss. Traumatic stress which can occur due to extreme trauma as a result of a severe accident and assault and environmental disaster or war. This type of stress is short term and usually the more common form of stress. Acute stress often develops when people consider the pressure of events that have recently occurred or face upcoming challenges in the near future. 
For example, a person may feel stressed about a recent argument or an upcoming deadline. However, the stress will reduce or disappear once a person resolves the argument or meet the deadline. Acute stressors are often new and tend to have a clear and immediate solution. Even with the more difficult challenges that people face, there are possible way to get out of the situation. Acute stress does not cause the same amount of damage as long-term chronic stress. Short-term effects include tension, headaches and an upset stomach as well as moderate amount of distress. However, repeated intenses of acute stress over an extended period can become chronic and harmful. This type of stress develops over a long period and is more harmful. Ongoing poverty, a dysfunctional family or an unhappy marriage are examples of situations that can cause chronic stress. It occurs when a person can see no way to avoid their stressors and stop seeing solutions. A traumatic experience early in the life may also contribute to chronic stress. Chronic stress makes it difficult for the body to return to a normal level of stress hormone activity, which can contribute to problems in the following systems. Cardiovascular, respiratory, sleep, immune, reproductive. A constant state of stress can also increase a person's risk of type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure and heart disease, depression, anxiety and other mental health disorders such as post-traumatic stress disorder can develop when stress becomes chronic. Chronic stress can continue unnoticed as people can become used to feeling agitated and hopeless. It can become part of an individual's personality, making them constantly prone to the effect of stress regardless of the scenarios that they encounter. People with chronic stress are at risk of having a final breakdown that can lead to suicide, violent actions, a heart attack or stroke. People react differently to stressful situations. What is stressful for one person may not be stressful for another. And almost any event can potentially cause stress. For some people, just thinking about a trigger or several smaller triggers can cause stress. There is no identifiable reason why one person may feel less stressed than another when facing the same stressor. Mental health conditions such as depression or a building sense of frustration, injustice and anxiety can make some people feel stressed more easily than others. Previous experiences may affect how a person reacts to stressors. Common major life events that can trigger stress include job issues or retirement, lack of time or money, bereavement, family problems, illness, moving home, relationships, marriage, and divorce. Other commonly reported causes of stress are abortion or pregnancy loss, driving in heavy traffic or fear of an accident, fear of crime or problem with neighbors, pregnancy and becoming a parent, excessive noise, overcrowding and pollution, uncertainty or waiting for an important outcome. Some people experience ongoing stress after a traumatic event such as an accident or some kind of abuse. Doctor will diagnose this as post-traumatic stress disorder. Those who work in stressful jobs such as the military or the emergency services will have a debriefing session following a major incident and occupational health care services will monitor them for PTSD. The physical effects of stress can include sweating, pain in the back or chest, cramps or muscle spasms, fainting, headaches, nervous twitches, pins and needle sensations. A 2012 study found that the stressors that parents experience such as financial troubles or managing a single parent household may also lead to obesity in their children. 
Emotional reactions can include anger, burnout, concentration issues, fatigue, a feeling of insecurity, forgetfulness, irritability, nail biting, restlessness, sadness. Stress associated behaviors include food cravings and eating too much or too little, sudden angry outbursts, drugs and alcohol misuse, higher tobacco consumption, social withdrawal, frequent crying, relationship problems. If stress becomes chronic, it can lead to several complications including anxiety, depression, heart disease, high blood pressure, lower immunity against diseases, muscular itches, PTSD, sleeping difficulties, stomach upset, erectile dysfunction, and loss of libido. A doctor will typically diagnose stress by asking an individual about their symptoms and life events. Diagnosing stress can be challenging because it depends on many factors. Doctors have used questionnaire, biochemical measures, and physiological techniques to identify stress. However, these may not be objective or effective. The most direct way to diagnose stress and its effect on a person is through a comprehensive, stress-oriented, face-to-face -face interview. Treatment includes self-help and when an underlying condition is causing stress, certain medications. Therapies that may help a person relax include aromatherapy and reflexology. Some insurance providers cover this type of treatment however, it is important for people to check coverage with their provider before pursuing this treatment. Knowing the details about a potential treatment can help prevent it from adding to any ongoing stress. For coping 